Folks, what is wrong with this picture? There's something wrong. You guys are going to have to let me know what, what, what is possibly the problem with this picture. Mallory's actually trying to figure it out. It said this monitor is off. Why is it off? Because it's broken. For the past few days, my monitor, the smaller 19-inch Acer, has been making some strange noises. Every once in a while, it'll make a noise like... And I was like, that seems bad. Sometimes I would hit it, and it would go away. Um, but it's just, it's been making these noises for probably, I don't know, like the last two weeks, and uh, it was, it's not very good. Randomly today, the, uh, the colors got really weird on the monitor, and then everything kind of faded, and then there were a bunch of scan lines, and then the monitor went black, and I was like, that's odd, but it's happened before in the past, but it's, it's been a while, it's been a long time since it happened, so I was like, yeah, no problem, so I left it off for a little bit, and then I turned it back on, and it came on, and it was on for about three seconds, and then died. And I did this a few times. And it was dead. I have now concluded that my monitor is actually dead. It is it is complete. Done. Done for. And it almost, just near as a hair, made it three years. I got that in March 2009. Strangely enough, the one I got in June 2007, the bigger 20-inch Dell, is still alive and functioning quite well. It's actually funny. The other day I was talking to Mao about monitors and about how I would eventually like to get a bigger monitor because... Uh, one of the things holding me back from doing computer games in 1080p for you guys is that I don't have a 1080p monitor. You know, I only have 1680 by 1050 I need something bigger so I can actually record it. Well, now I'm going to get a bigger one. Getting the Acer was a mistake in the first place. I always had the 20-inch Dell, and then whenever I went to get a second monitor, because I don't know if you guys knew, but I used to use a MacBook and the 20-inch, and then I got the Hackintosh in March 2009, so I needed two monitors. I bought an extra monitor. I thought that my Dell was 19-inch. Nope, it was 20, and they never have matched, and that's always bothered me. Anyway, I did a lot of research today, and I finally decided on the Asus 24-inch monitor. It's an LED backlit monitor, so it's actually much nicer than anything I've ever had. Uh, the model number, if I can remember, is the VS248H-P, I think. A 24-inch monitor is going to be pretty big. It's actually bigger than the TV that we have in the bedroom right now, bigger than the TV that we used at school, so it's pretty big. So I'm going to have that and then an extra 20-inch, but uh, I now have a 1080p monitor, so the next time we do a computer game recording, I can do a 1080 recording, which is actually really cool. Anyway, my bad luck, or maybe it was good luck because it forced me to buy a monitor. Anyway, lock aside, uh, we have some mail to open, so let's open some mail. We've got three letters to open today, and it looks like they were all postmarked uh, about the same time, so I am going to open them based on distance, starting with the furthest place first. In this case, it is South Beach, Oregon. Oregon, we've got some trails. All right, let's see what we got from uh, South Beach. To Stephen Amell. First off, I'd like to thank you two for making some of the funniest LPs I've ever seen. I started watching during Amnesia. I'm not a fan of horror, but you made it enjoyable to me. As for the vlog, I started watching when you made all those weird pizzas, like the Hawaiian with oranges and honey. I liked it. And I've been watching since. I wanted you two to know that you brought me a lot of joy and fun times. Best of luck in the years to come. Samuel. Also known as Ultron Quake. P.S. I know it's customary to share a recipe, so here is Beaver Creek Rhubarb Upside Down Cake. That's a, quite the title. Found in Smokehouse Bear by Gordon R. Nepson. PPS, it's amazing. Beaver Creek Rhubarb Upside Down Cake. Five cups of rhubarb, a cup of sugar, two three-ounce packages of strawberry jello, two cups miniature marshmallows, one package cake mix, and whipped cream. Interesting. Mm. Do you like rhubarb? I actually don't know if I like rhubarb or not. I don't, I don't know if I've ever had a rhubarb. Although I'm intrigued just by the fact it's called Beaver Creek. It brings about images of Halo. Anyway, Samuel, thank you so much for the leather and, of course, the recipe. We're going to move on to the next leather, uh, second closest to us, which is postmarked from Lexington, Kentucky. And let's see what's in here. At the top of this letter, it says, read the PS first, please. Okay. In Skyrim, I think you should trade Edouge for the Dawnbreaker. And for Demo Fridays, try Castle Miner 2. I'll definitely keep that in mind for Demo Fridays. And as far as Edouge, I'm willing to trade Edouge in for you know, pretty much anything. <laughs> anything better than Edouge, I'm willing to get rid of Edouge. I don't have any kind of emotional attachment. Not like I do with Fandle. 
Dear Stephen, I just started watching about a month ago, but ever since, I have loved every moment and laughed till I cried, but my favorite is Minecraft and Skyrim, but all of them are great. You should check out Chimney Swift 2. This is not me, but I am part-time Swifter, part-time Stephenite. You are awesome, signed, SNP Redneck. Well, SNP Redneck, I do appreciate the kind words, and he also included uh, a Manectric. Level 45 and extra holographic, so that'll go up into the card frame. Thanks. So far, two great letters from Samuel and SMP Redneck, and we're going to move on to the third and final one, which is actually postmarked here in Columbia, uh, and it is from Corey in Chapin, South Carolina. Dear Stephen and Mallory, I am writing this letter to thank you both very much for allowing me to be a part of your lives. I am currently dedicating a lot of my free time to watching through all of your vlogs, and currently I am around day 300. I have to say, this series has been one of the, if not the, most interesting things I have seen. It is a great experience to watch someone else's life through their eyes, or should I say, lens. Seeing you two grow as a couple and eventually becoming one through marriage has been quite amazing. The raw emotion displayed every time you two were apart was blatantly obvious, and as I watched the vlogs I felt as if I were reading a love story or watching a well-made romantic movie. I just really wanted to thank you both for letting me and all the others who watch your vlog experience your life. Sincerely, Corey S., or known as Tom McSalad. P.S. I am really appreciative of how you almost never say anything that is offensive, like curse words. It is hard to find that on YouTube or even in life. Well, Corey, first off, thank you so much for the letter. I uh, truly appreciate it, and I really like what you said. Um, it, it feels as if you're reading a love story or watching a well-made romantic movie. Um, it's weird, because when I think of the relationship that Mallory and myself have, I don't think, I guess, as a romance-type thing, um, just because we're not real you know, public display of affection type people. Now, in private, we have a very good, I guess, romantic life. Um, but I guess it's true that we've showed romance on the vlog, especially in the early ones, um, just by being apart and really having an incredible desire to be together. I mean, it's... I, I remember those days. In fact, when people are commenting on older vlogs, I, I go back and sometimes I watch them. I read the comments and then I'm like, well... Now I'm kind of curious, and I end up watching the days, and there's been a lot of comments on days where me and Mal have maybe had to say goodbye, or maybe where we're, you know, back together again. And I remember that emotion. It was... Not very fun. No, it was the not The leaving very fun. ones were not very fun. No. Um, I remember just the, the devastating feelings of, of having to say goodbye, and um, I, I don't think it's something that's been portrayed well enough in the vlogs in the last few months. Uh, but ever since June, when Mal came to be with me forever, um, it's really been the happiest time of my entire life. And I, I, there's never really been a vlog where I've dedicated that, you know, where I've been like, you know what, I love this person. I mean, I guess, you know, we got married and all, but um, I, I'm, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. But This could segue in tomorrow's video, because tomorrow is a very important date. It is, actually. It's actually really funny that you wrote this, because um, tomorrow is the date that me and Mallory started dating. Admittedly, it was e-dating, but tomorrow marks um, our four-year anniversary. It was March 8th, 2008, when Mallory and I started dating. Some of you might be familiar with the phrase from the vlog. Um, I have so much to say right now, and all I can hear are Link and Pikachu. That's actually a vlog title. I think it's Day 82, so if you're not familiar with our story, go back and watch Day 82. It'll tell you all, all about it. Anyway, this was nice, actually. I, I enjoyed all the letters, and I really enjoyed the, the phrasing in this particular letter. I also find it really funny uh, that at the bottom you, you said about not using uh, profanity. Um, I've talked about it on the vlog before, about how it's just one of those things that, I, I don't know, since it can offend people, I try not to use it. But why it's so funny is that today, when I was recording Shadow of the Colossus, um... I had a fit on one of the Colossus, man. Uh, for those who have played the game, Solosia. Some of you know who that is or will look it up. Hard as nails. And um, <laughs> and honestly, it's more of a funny thing uh, and not a serious thing, but I'm going to have to censor the end of that episode like crazy. 
Um, sorry, I just think it's really funny because you said that, and it was today that I just let loose on an episode. But uh, I'm going to censor it all because I think that censoring is funnier than using actual profanity. Anyway, um, I kind of rambled on a bit, but uh, this was a good letter. All of the letters are good. So I, I thank you so much for uh, everyone who decided to send in a letter. And if you're watching right now and you'd like to send in a letter, you certainly can. Go over to the channel page in the top right corner. There is an address. Put it in the mailbox with the address on it. You guys know how to send mail. I hope. But send us something, we'll open it, and you will see it appear here on the vlog. You can send in cards, magnets, blah, 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 recipes. Uh, there's a lot of stuff people send in, and we'd love to get mail from you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? And you're probably wondering when I'm going to get that monitor. Well, I have the Prime two-day shipping, but it still said it's not going to get here until, like, next Tuesday. So I'm hoping for, like, Saturday, but it's probably not going to happen. Also, I don't know how I missed this, but uh, this was included in Corey's letter. It is the counting cat. I don't, know, it's, I don't know if you can see that. It's a cat with a really long body. It's basically a long cat. It has numbers all over him. It says 1962 was a long time ago. And then we have the spelling cat, which has got a bunch of words. Uh, Mallory, Taylor, Taco, Bell, Will... Alex, Mom, Banana, Steven, Bid, Rocco. Rocco, Steak, Nick, Magic. Basically, words that are really important to the vlog. So that was cool. That's a nice addition.